I got into comedy because I like standing around, you know, I like watching other people do things, you know. That's why I was on the football team in high school, <laughs> you know. Some parents won't let their kids play football because it's dangerous. My parents would, but the coach wouldn't. <laughs> so there's a lot of standing around wondering what everybody else is doing after the game. I like standing around. I like, I like watching people do things. I'm good at watching things. I'm good at watching people do things. I should, I should be a detective, you know. Go on stakeouts. I can, I can watch things and you don't even know I'm doing it, you know. Like Netflix every day is like, hey, are you still watching this? <laughs> and I'm just like, yes, don't judge me. <laughs> I go by Razzle. I changed my name because I wanted to be a rock star growing up. Rock stars always have cool names. Rock stars and wrestlers, you know, professional wrestlers. The rock stars always have cool names. There we go. <laughs> Nature boy in the house. Cream rises at the top, that's for the deep cuts. Uh, but, uh, you know, just going to concerts tires me out. You know, guitar players are always running back and forth. And I'm just like, whoa, dude. They're always like. Got to get my steps in. And then the guitar players are always, every time they get to the side of the stage to, like, throw out a pick or whatever, they're always, they always kind of look surprised and confused, like, like they just walked out of a store in the shopping mall and they forgot which direction they entered, you know? No, we already went to Journeys. Some of you aren't laughing and you need to go to more shopping malls. Because it's like the movie The Labyrinth in there. They, everything looks the same. And then the malls attached to Targets are even worse. You know, you go into Target and it's like an escape room. The only way out of a Target is to buy things you weren't planning on buying when you walked in. It's filling up your cart. Target needs to have somebody there who's like, hey, are you still shopping here? <laughs> That's just for me, I tell you what. I get lost in Target. Guitar players, I'm jealous of guitar players though because they look cool. Guitar players, you know, they get to wear cool clothes, they get to wear face paint, they get to wear makeup, you know, uh, and they get to sand cool. You know, guitar players get to sand like this. I can't sand like this. Guitar players are the only people who can sand like this. Maybe firefighters. <laughs> Give me some slack. Because you can't go to the office on Monday and stand like this at your desk. I don't know whose office has a typewriter. <laughs> but I'd like to borrow your time machine and bet on some sports. And then you got singers. Singers are, you know, singers are the lazy ones in the band. You know, every concert I go to, the singer's just like this. Like, hey, dude, I bought a ticket. I don't want to listen to Kevin here singing karaoke. That's why I skipped his birthday. <laughs> and then they're always lying. Singers are always, you know, bullshitting you. They're always telling tales out of school. I saw Beyonce two nights in a row last year, and both times she said, we were the best audience she's ever had. <laughs> hey, dude. I don't know if that's because she knew I was there singing single ladies, because I'm pretty good. But don't lie to me, you know? Don't, don't tell me bullshit if it's not true. And you have bass players. I feel bad for the bass players in bands because nobody knows the bass player's name. The bass player is always the odd man out. The bass player is always the guy in a band photo looking in a different direction. <laughs> you know, trying to be cool. Bass player's got nothing to do, though. I feel bad for him because the bass player is always like, if you go to enough concerts, the bass player is always kind of pushed in the back. He's like in the back corner, you know, and he doesn't have anything cool to do, so he kind of just, just moves like he's a robot from Chuck E. Cheese, you know? He's, And then every time the song's done, only his spotlight shuts off and he's just like, rant, rant. <laughs> Boom, ba -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I've been doing that joke for a bit and nobody's told me how dumb I look. <laughs> and I finally saw a photo and the first thing that came to my mind was like, oh, it's a T-Rex watering plants. 
Ouais, ça, c'était fait. I love my dad. I'm just going to throw that out there. He did his job. I survived. Here's to the dads. My dad's a follower, though. I don't know if you know people like this. Like, my dad, he'll see a belt on the cover of Men's Health. He'll go out and buy that belt. You know? He watched the movie The Bucket List, and he made a bucket list. <clears throat> he started watching Breaking Bad recently, and I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't want him quitting his, his job and becoming a high school teacher, you know? Because <laughs> they don't get paid enough. I'm just going to be honest. He calls me up, though, and he's like, son, you're not going to believe this. I watched the movie The Bucket List. I made a bucket list. You're 37. You got maybe 52 years left on this planet. You should, you should make a bucket list. So I made a bucket list, but I think I did it wrong. Because my bucket list is oddly generic, right? Like number one on my bucket list is to buy a cat. Because number two is to buy a dog. Because number three is to name my cat Waterfalls. So every time my dog is chasing my cat, y'all don't even know the joke yet. I want to be able to say, cut it out, I don't want no scrubs. Stupid. <laughs>